something new this is the perfect way to do 
to it and you don't have to purchase a whole bottle and then you don't like it and then you're like oh crap because you only have a little two of it it's perfect so yes yeah, so use my code soft for 55 percent off of your first month sunbird thank you so much for sponsoring today's video and without further ado let's get on with the rest of the video okay so i do have some notes right in here just so i can make sure i stay on track i think i have um four things like four topics to talk about like i did last time i feel like that's a good amount so the first one that we're going to talk about is the reunion of camila cabello and sean mendes i actually really liked them together they started dating in december i wrote it down December of 2019 and then they just broke up or not just broke up November 2021 they broke up it feels like it wasn't that long ago but I guess it kind of was I really liked them together I think sometimes when you see certain celebrity couples you always like wonder like do you really love each other or like you know like what's going on here but I will say whenever I saw pictures and videos of them they always like looked like they genuinely loved each other especially him like the way he looked at her um so from what they presented to the public they said that they had a very amicable breakup uh it was very peaceful i think it was mutual and they both put out like a statement on instagram basically just saying you know we're still best friends we still love each other so much blah 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 blah, blah. they parted ways i think he dated somebody else i don't know if she came forward about a specific person that she was dating but she did say that you know she had been like talking to people or people had like tried to talk to her slide into the dms you know i think it's so funny that celebrities also slide into each other's dms i just think that's hysterical anyway they're just like us okay so anyway they had a good breakup right well on april 14th 2023 just a few weeks ago they were spotted being all cute and cuddly and kissing up on each other at coachella i saw the video myself I saw it on tiktok um they were in a crowd and he was the video that i saw he was standing behind her and like holding her from behind and like kissing the side of her face and her neck and then i think she like reached up and like kissed him back or something like that and everybody of course was like freaking out they were like what does this mean because you know it didn't really seem like they were trying to hide it at all they were just out in public um i was low key like i was like good for you um and then i think originally what came out out after that when they were asked about it i think it was tried to be portrayed as like oh it was a one-time thing like they just saw each other and got caught up in the moment um but then a few days after coachella they were seen at santa monica and they were like walking and holding hands and stuff so i don't know if they have like fully come out and been like yes we're back together i don't think they have but they're also not being secret if they're just being normal people like they don't have to put out a statement to be like yeah i'm dating this person you know what i mean um but people are you know suspicious and people basically have just come to their own conclusion of like yes they're together and um apparently camilla is coming out with a new song called june gloom i have not heard anything of this other than what i read but apparently some of the lyrics are i will read to you it says are you coming to coachella if you don't it's whatever if you do honey it'll be all i think about right i mean that sounds like it kind of speaks for itself in my opinion i don't think that song has come out so when it comes out we're all gonna have to listen to it but i mean i don't know it sounds like he kind of picked up what she was putting down you know what i'm saying so ever happiness to them both i really like her i think she is genuine i think she's real i was not a fan when she was in fifth harmony she was the one as i was never a fifth harmony fan to be honest with you but out of the group she was the one that like just got under my skin she just annoyed the crap out of me now that she's on her own and doing her own thing and she's found her her 
own like voice again. I'm a fan. I do. There are a good couple of her songs and I'm like, yes, I like this. Um, and I like him. I think he's extremely talented. He's definitely like a pretty boy. Um, he's very, very good looking dude. Um, so I like them together. They seem to compliment each other well and you can really tell that he just like genuinely like cares for her and loves her and so I would be mad if they got married and had little little singing babies okay so that's the first topic and any of these topics if you know more details than I do feel free to leave them down below so the next one we're going to talk about I feel like you'll only really really care about if you're a country music fan I am a country music fan I love country music and so the next thing I'm going to talk about is the cancelled Morgan Wallen concerts that came up recently. So he is on tour and he um, had a show in Mississippi. I think this was last week, maybe two weeks ago. Um, and he basically canceled the concert because he needed to be on he needed to be on vocal rest um he said you know he was feeling under the weather and his voice he just he just couldn't sing but he got a lot of hate from how short notice it was like people showed up to the concert and there was just a sign in the front that was basically like yeah actually no 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 show tonight and um people got really upset and like I get it because if if you're on tour right that means you have shows pretty much every day so how much advance notice could you give but it's just it's a hard situation because also for fans that are traveling from out of state or, or whatever some people fly for these concerts you know some people really like are dedicated to their favorite artists and so can you imagine like traveling so far and then you get there and you have no idea and then you get there and you read the sign and it's like, oh, actually no show. That's devastating too. And I would be pissed as well. So he wrote um, a statement on his Instagram and it said, after last night's show, I started losing my voice. So I spent the day resting up, talking to my doctor and working through my vocal exercises and trying to get better. I really thought I'd be able to take the stage and it kills me to deliver this so close to showtime, but my voice is shot and I am unable to sing. All tickets will be refunded at point of purchase. I am so sorry. I promise you guys I tried everything I could. So it really does sound like he tried, especially if he had a show the night before. That means he only had less than 24 hours to see if he could get better, see what his doctor said. Because of course, they don't want to cancel shows because then you have to refund everybody's tickets. So, you know, so I'm sure they did try to put on the concert, but it's just a, it's a sucky situation. One fan actually has tried to sue him and the suit states, even if ticket prices are refunded, no offer has been made to reimburse concert goers for other out-of-pocket expenses they incurred in connection with the concert cancellation, including transportation, lodging, food, merchandise sales, transaction fees, and other such expenses. Which is fair. So, it's just, again, it's a crappy situation. It's like, who's right? Who, you know, who's wrong? I'm sure he couldn't help the fact that he lost his voice. You know, it puts a lot of strain on the voice to, to sing, especially every single night. So, you know, it's it's hard. And people have brought up, like, other artists. I have compared him to other artists. Something similar happened to Luke Combs, another country singer, um, a couple of months ago. I think it was even last year. And he was going to cancel the show, but instead of canceling it, he refused to cancel it. And he went on stage anyway. It was just a shorter concert, and he sang, like, a little bit, and still refunded everybody's tickets. And he just kind of came forward, like, on the mic. I watched a video, and he was like, I'm going to be really honest with you. My voice really hurts. Like, I really can't sing well. And because I feel like I'm not going to be able to put on a great show for you, I'm going to 
refund all your tickets and everybody was like that's a class act like that's what you do i think it does differ from person to person you know who's to say that luke's vocal problems were as bad as morgan's were you know so it's just it's hard um but he's getting a lot of hate for it but like i get it so it's just it's just hard so i think it was a couple of shows that he said he had to go on vocal rest but i'm sure he's back now if you're like a real morgan wallen fan you probably know more than me but um i really like him as an artist i like his songs i don't really know much about him but i like his songs um i looked at getting tickets to go see him this summer absurdly expensive for absolutely no reason like i'm talking like some of the cheapest i saw was like 430 bucks for me it's just i like him i don't like him that much okay so that's the tea with that the next one this one threw me th through a loop this one i was not expecting this one so there have been like there's been things circulating in the media that like there are a couple there are a couple of couples that are together that people would not guess that they would ever be together you know they're like unlikely pairs one of them being i don't know why i'm laughing i don't mean to be mean one of them being kylie jenner and timothy chalamet timothy chalamet if you don't know is an actor he's a, he, i feel like he's not in like too too many things yet he's very well known and he has been in some very like big movies i just feel like he hasn't been in like i think the quality has been more than the quantity if that makes sense um and i think he also just has one of those looks those very like distinct looks where he just like sticks out i don't know but anyway he's been apparently hanging out with kylie kendall kylie kylie jenner now we don't know if they're actually dating if they're in a relationship if they're just hanging out i don't know but of course you know how the internet goes they're like oh my god the newest couple this is so weird so i wrote a little bit of notes i am not a kardashian fan i don't really care about any of them um i don't dislike them i just have never taken the time to really like know about them you know but i did write some notes so these rumors started in the same place almost every celebrity gossip comes from these days do more do you guys know what that is i don't know what that is but it's oh it's the celebrity sighting and blind item instagram account interesting so it's like a gossip account that's good to know for these videos if i ever need content i could go look there so they first posted about <laughs> they're calling them kyla v that's hysterical kyla v they first posted about them on april 6th on their instagram story account and they wrote in all caps new couple alert with one of its anonymous sources claiming to have known about the couple since january i'm so skeptical skeptical when it comes to this stuff while many people on the internet couldn't or didn't want to believe it the situation got a lot more real when the 25 year old reality star's car was photographed in the 27 year old oscar nominee's driveway on april 13th it's so wild to like live in the limelight right and just like that knowledge that you have somebody over and that their car is in your driveway is on like every tabloid and like on instagram accounts that's so weird like i know they're all rich and everybody thinks that their lives are perfect but like that's gotta suck i don't know anyway so maybe they were just hanging out maybe they were doing other things who knows but kyla v might be a thing i can't say that with a straight face kyla v might be a thing and then the last thing i had to put this in there um i used to love the show thousand pound sisters about amy and tammy their twin sisters um that like together they were like a thousand pounds and they had a reality show on tlc i think there are like three or four seasons i don't think a season has come out for a while but 
but I have heard rumors that there might be another season. I don't know, or it's coming out soon. I don't really know. I should look it up. But anyway, um, so Amy and her now ex Michael have gotten divorced. That's not really gossip or rumor. It's just like facts. But um, I want to put that in there because I really liked the show and I was rooting for her. They just had their second kid, so. Yeah, you as confirmed on March 20th that they filed for divorce. He filed for divorce from her, more specifically. Um, and their split came less than one year since they welcomed their second child. So I have no information on like what happened. And I feel bad. It's like no one's business to know that. But anyway, yeah, we got divorced. I think Tammy has also broken up with that weird no offense, that was like her boyfriend or whatever. He was creepy and I don't know. I don't know. I didn't like that. Um, so who knows? Maybe the sisters are gonna like move in together or I don't know. I bet if you watch the new season, the divorce is gonna be part of it. I wouldn't be surprised. But that is just a little bit of the celebrity gossip that I picked out for this video. Like I said, I will definitely do more of these videos because I know you guys really like them and I'm glad you do. Um, and if you want to just like shoot me DMs, like help a girl out and be like, oh, this happened with this celebrity, you could talk about this because I don't always keep up with all the celebrity gossip. Um, so if you want to help a girl out, you can, you can send me some things. Um, and again, thank you to Sempered for sponsoring today's video. Remember, you guys can get 55% off of your first month at Sempered with my code SOFT, S-O-F-T. So thank you again to Sempered for sponsoring today's video. If you guys try Sempered,